Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Today, it's all about Valentine's Day DIYs, treats, and gift basket ideas. Let's get started. If your Dollar Tree Valentine's Day selection looks super bare and picked over, don't worry because I'm going to be sharing a bunch of other items that you can pick up at Dollar Tree to create amazing Valentine's Day gift ideas. For project number one, you're gonna need one of these Dollar Tree wreath forms. You're also gonna need two of this style of bowl. I got blue, but you could use whatever color you wanted. I also picked up vinyl, but you don't need that, so skip that, but also grab one of these cake boards or a plastic plate. I also grabbed one of the Dollar Tree LED lights that are in blue. They have a bunch of different colors. They even have clear, so get whatever color you think will work best. I saw this original idea on Instagram, and once I saw it, I knew I had to recreate it using Dollar Tree items because it's a fun way to give candy to the kids for Valentine's Day. It doesn't take a bunch of time and it turned out really nice. To get started, I'm taping down my LED lights. I do tape them around the bowl, but I go back and change that at the end, and then I'm gonna tape my battery pack to the outside of the bowl so that you can turn it off and on. Remove any stickers, and now it's time to work on our wreath form. I'm gonna cut a few inches right off of the center. This is gonna create the ring effect, and then you're gonna cut a bit off of the top so that our cake board can be glued on and it sit flat. This is where I messed up and thought that I would be able to use vinyl for the ring portion, but it just did not stick, so I went ahead and just painted the wreath form. I started with blue and I ended up having it white because white just matched better. The blues were clashing. Now it's time to glue everything together, and I would definitely recommend using a heavy duty hot glue, like a Gorilla hot glue, or a mixture of E6000 and hot glue. You wanna make sure that it's nice and sturdy. I'm just gonna take my cake board and glue it right onto our wreath form. Once that's completely cooled, then you're gonna take your bowl and glue that onto your cake board. Once it was all dry, I'm adding in my kids' favorite candy and some of our crinkle paper. And this is how I switched the light and it looks so much better in the top of the bowl rather than the bottom. To make sure everything stays connected, I'm just using some packing tape on the back side. And then once you close it up, you can use a little bit, ta a little bit of tape like around the side so it stays. I am obsessed with the way that it turned out. I think that it's adorable and clear and pink and blue. Definitely inexpensive and if you're not a crafter, you definitely can do this because it was super duper simple. Valentine's Day gift idea number two is super inexpensive. You can create it for under $10. You're only gonna need a couple of things. I have three packs of ramen, one of these soup bowls, some off-brand sriracha. We're also gonna be using one of these floral foam molds. We're gonna cut it down a bit just so that it fits inside of our cup. This is to keep everything nice and sturdy and secure. We're adding our sriracha right to the front because clearly she's the star of the show. And then we're gonna take some of our bamboo spears and we're just gonna tape them to the back of our ramen. Just to be cautious, I did add two of the bamboo skewers to the back just to help distribute the weight because if not they were starting to tip over and look a little bit wonky. To keep with the theme of our gift, I'm adding in a few fortune cookies. You can find these at the grocery store for a box of them for $1.50, but I'm also gonna share another option that you can use that's from Dollar Tree in a minute in this video. Now for the fun part, assembling it all. This is the best part of putting any gift together is watching it all come to life. I'm adding one thing of ramen, one fortune cookie, and then I'm moving off to the sides. Now, if everything seems to be like falling down, you can use a little bit of tape on the back to tape them together and they'll stand upright and look a lot better and much cleaner. You wanna make sure that your packs of ramen are straight and neat and it will all start to come together in the end, I promise. I decided to add the brown decorative shreds just because that's what I had. I feel like white would also work, but you want it to be more of a neutral color since there is such bright colors with the orange and the red cup. Now, if you don't wanna use real fortune cookies or you don't wanna to go to the grocery store, Dollar Tree does sell these faux fortune cookies in the Valentine's Day section. They say cute things on the inside like, you're so sweet, I love you. You could use those in place of the real fortune cookies. I decided to take the fortune out, add a cute little bell, some cute little decorative hearts that are all from Dollar Tree. And now you have a super inexpensive, really cute Valentine's Day gift that you can give to a friend, a coworker, even a teacher's gift. I think this is adorable and super inexpensive. Idea number three is to create a Valentine's Day scavenger hunt using all items from Dollar Tree. You're gonna need one of the heart scratch off packs of stickers. You're also gonna need a pack of the heart doilies. Now I picked the red ones, but they have red, white, and pink. You're gonna create clues and hide them around your house and then at the end, typically you're either gonna have a small treat for them, a gift, whatever you're giving them for Valentine's Day, if anything, it doesn't really have to be anything at the end. But this was one of my favorite tricks when I was super duper broke. I didn't have a bunch of money to buy a bunch of gifts for my kids for like their birthdays and special occasions. I would create a scavenger hunt and then at the end, it kind of like prolongs the gift giving process so that it makes it exciting and the build up and they love it. So I created about six different clues. You wanna make sure that you keep a key of where everything 
everything should be hidden so that it all makes sense when they go to find them. And then once you have all of the clues written out, you're gonna take the sticker, you're gonna place it right on top, and then when it's time to start the scavenger hunt, you give them a coin, a penny preferably, and then they can scratch the clues as they find them. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend, especially if you don't have a huge Valentine's Day gift to give. This is definitely a fun activity to try. Dollar Tree Valentine's Day gift idea number four is my absolute favorite. You're gonna start by picking up some of the decorative shreds, some tissue paper. You're gonna need two of these large bowls that you can find in all of like the little catering section. We're gonna start by taking our tissue paper and we're gonna put it inside of our bowl. These bowls do come in a bunch of different colors, so keep that in mind. Once the tissue paper is down, you're gonna add in your decorative shreds and you're going to put in everything that you would put in a Valentine's Day gift basket. So I added in some popcorn, some Reese Pieces, a cute little flashlight for Quincy because it's like colorful, I think he would like that. Some sunflower seeds. I also added in this sour Laffy Taffy. I found all this stuff at Dollar Tree, the chapstick, some little chocolates, and then I found these super cute little socks. They were like s'more socks. They were adorable. They say women's, I believe, but I think they are cute for anyone. Now you're gonna go ahead and take that second bowl. You're gonna put that on top and we're gonna tape it down with our packing tape. You do wanna make sure that everything's nice and secure. So you're gonna add pieces of tape completely around so that it doesn't move or budge. Next, you're gonna take one of the Dollar Tree Party tablecloths. They have a bunch of different colors. They had this really dark pink, a light pink, and also red, so use whatever color that you want. You only need half of it, so you're gonna cut it in half, but you're gonna use the whole width of it to cover up the entire bowl. Wrap it completely around and tape it at the bottom so that you don't see any of the tape. Once you have the bottom taped, you're gonna flip it back over, and now you're going to cinch each side and make it look like basically little pigtails on each side. You're gonna cut off any excess table cloth and you want to make sure that it looks like a piece of candy so you want to make sure that each side is kind of even you can secure it with tape and ribbon but just make sure you're mindful of where you're placing everything to add a little bit more pizzazz, I took two of the Dollar Tree felt flowers that they had this year, and I just hot glued them onto the side. I think that it makes it look a little bit more pretty and girly, and I really like the way that the flowers look on our little candy piece. It's done, you have a fun and unique way to give a gift, and I think that it's definitely customizable. You can make it more girl or more boy, depending on who you're giving it to, and I feel like the possibilities are endless. I am obsessed with this idea. Next up, try and make this super simple, last minute sweet treat idea. Idea. You only need a couple of things. One is the small silicone heart mold. You need some of the Werther's soft chewy caramels and then any type of white chocolate or dark chocolate. We're gonna start by unwrapping our caramels and we're going to cut them in half. Once they're cut in half, then you're going to mold them into the bottom of the heart. You might wanna use your hands. I ended up using the bottom of a knife. Use whatever you feel comfortable, but sometimes the heat from your fingers can heat it up a little bit better and it makes it easier to press and mold. your caramels are pressed down now you're going to go ahead and take the chocolate of your choice I'm a white chocolate kind of girl, but you could also use dark chocolate. You're going to melt that down. I added a little bit of coconut oil to give it that nice shine. Once it's completely melted down, now you're going to pour the rest of the way with your chocolate. You're gonna fill up each heart. You wanna make sure not to overfill it, so try to fill it just enough. Tap it down, and if you can, remove any excess. This will give you a cleaner heart once it all is set. This would be fun to do a mixture of maybe white chocolate and dark chocolate. Do whatever your preference is or whoever you're giving it to, what, what their preference is. You can add in sprinkles. I added in some of these pink ones. They ended up not looking really good, so I definitely wouldn't recommend doing the little sugar crystals because those did not look good. But I put them into the freezer to harden, and once they were fully done, I popped them right out. And now you have a little chocolate caramel candy that looks like you created it yourself and it did not take that long and it actually tastes delicious it like melts in your mouth and it is so good a super simple and easy way to give this as a gift is to head into the dollar tree in their craft section they have these galvanized hearts you're also going to pick up some of these paper shreds we use these for everything place some of that into the bottom i'm adding in some chocolates you can add in whatever type of candy that they like i just took this out of the box so that it had that same heart shape and then i placed my DIY candies around, some Lindor truffles, and this is super simple, inexpensive, and does not cost a lot of money to make. 
If you're looking for an easy Galentine's Day gift idea, try this one. You're gonna head into Dollar Tree and pick up six of these wooden crates. I'm gonna be using some white chalk paint mixed with the Dollar Tree hot pink. I think this color pink is fantastic but I love the way that chalk paint dries. It dries super duper fast. So I'm just mixing the two of those together. We're gonna paint all of our crates with one coat and then let that dry. Next, you're gonna grab one of the Dollar Tree wreath rails. We're also gonna give this the same coat of pink. I know it's supposed to typically be used as a wreath, but I wanna share another way that you can use it with these wooden crates. Once everything's dry, you're gonna grab some wood glue and it's time to assemble. I'm gonna take a good amount of wood glue and add it to each side, and then I'm gonna take some of my Dollar Tree clamps and clamp them together so that they dry. We're gonna do that for all six of the crates. Next, you're gonna take the crates in the back, you're gonna flip them upside down and add a good amount of wood glue to the bottom of the crate. Once that's on, you're gonna take the second set of crates and place those directly on top. Now you could put something heavy on top to have everything set, but it should work out nicely. Next, you're gonna take that last set of crates and you're gonna glue it to the bottom set of crates that we flipped upside down. Make sure all of the crates are nice and tight and secure and now it's going to be time to glue our wreath rail onto the back of the top crate. Go ahead and add some clamps to make sure everything stays and it's nice and secure. Just for decoration I added some of these felt hearts right to the front. You don't have to do this. I thought that it ended up looking kind of cute so I just added some white ones but they are kind of see-through so you had to double them up so that's what I'm doing here. Now I decided to add in things that you would give to a girlfriend, a friend, someone that likes skincare and beauty. Everything that you see here is from Dollar Tree. I created this conversation heart body scrub, these little lip, lip scrubs that I'll share later on in the video. I added all of my crinkle paper. These are two bronzers from Dollar Tree that I'm adding in, two nail polishes, the Freeman face mask. This is their new eyelash case, which I think is adorable. I love that it's cherries, but the uh, packaging was too big. So I just took it out. I added it into a little clear bag, added a cute bow. We're gonna add that in there. To add height for this one little piece, these are like little soap petals that go in there. I just put in some foam, some floral foam some more of our crinkle paper because this just adds pizzazz. And I added in this uh, little cleansing balm. This is a body wash, little lip balm that I think is adorable in the shape of a cupcake, some heart makeup remover wipes, and then a little face brush. Now I took the heart face, little face wiper thingy majiggers. I took them out of their packaging just to make it look a little bit nicer and neater. And this is how it looks when it's all done. At the end, I decided to add in some heart shaped nail files, the ones that say XOXO on there. There's three of them in there. I love the way that it turned out. This is a great alternative to a gift basket. It's something sturdy that you can use later on. You could put makeup brushes in here, makeup products, and I think everything in here is amazing and super useful. For on a budget gift idea, this one is a 10 out of 10. To create the DIY heart lip scrubs, you're gonna need to pick up one pack of the Dollar Tree freeze dried strawberries. These are not only good to eat, but they're also great to use in DIYs. To get started, we're taking one pack of the freeze dried strawberries, the heart silicone mold with the tiny hearts, some pure sugar cane and also some coconut oil that you can find at Dollar Tree. You could add in whatever extra oils you wanted to, but this is just the basics. I'm melting down our coconut oil and I'm adding in about a third of a cup of sugar. You want everything to be nice and smooth. I'm also adding in some oatmeal just for some extra exfoliation, but you don't have to do this. I'm just pulsing it up and blending it up so it's not super duper thick. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our freeze dried strawberries. You basically wanna create a powder or almost just like super duper fine strawberry dust basically. Um, and so you're gonna pulse this or you could beat it with um, not a hammer, I was gonna say a hammer, a rolling pin if you don't have a ninja blender. Now we're gonna take all of our hot mixture off. You're gonna add in some essential oil. We're gonna add in our oatmeal. Then we're gonna add in all of our freeze dried strawberries and we're just going to mix this up. The color did not change like I thought that it would, so I did go add in like a little bit of food coloring. You don't have to do this, it doesn't get on your lips, but you're just gonna slowly mix and mix and mix. So you're gonna continue to add in more oil and sugar just so that you get the right consistency. It almost, you almost need it to be like a, like a cake consistency, not too wet, but not too dry. Once you have the perfect consistency, you're just going to add it into all of the molds 
Once all of the molds are full, I'm just gonna scrape off the top layer again so that we have a perfect heart once everything's nice and set. Once that's done, you're gonna pop this in the freezer to harden. It only takes a little bit, and once it's done, this is how it should look. They do come out really nicely and super easy, so if you're having a hard time getting them out, then put them back in the freezer to harden up a little bit more. Look at that. Now you can use this little heart to scrub your lips, and it does a fantastic job. It's fully edible, and it's something that you're gonna to wanna to keep in the refrigerator just because it does have like ingredients in there that could go bad. So just make sure you label everything if you are giving it as a gift so that they know what's in there and how to store it. This and final Dollar Tree Valentine's Day gift idea is super easy and something you could do with the kids. You're gonna pick up two packs of the Mrs. Fields chocolate chip cookies. You're gonna need one of the silicone heart molds. You can also use some vegetable oil spray and a little bit of flour if you want to grease your silicone mold. Heat your oven to about 350 and I like to make sure I put my silicone baking mold on something that's nice and sturdy for getting it in and out of the oven because it is a little bit flimsy. Now we're going to take our chocolate chip cookies and we're going to press them down into the bottom of each heart mold. You want to make sure that you press them down really good around all of the sides so that you get a good heart shape and do that for all six molds. you have all of your cookies in your mold you're going to add them into the oven for about eight to ten minutes you definitely don't want to overcook them i would definitely recommend undercooking them rather than overcooking them like i did because my cookies were a little too dark and a little too crispy but it's okay we made it work we're going to let them cool do this before removing them from the silicone mold because if not they will definitely fall apart once our cookies were cooled, I did dip them in white chocolate and dark chocolate. I thought I was filming, so I don't have any footage of this. Quincy was actually helping me, so that's why I was not making sure that I was actually filming. But I decided to add our cookies into these treat boxes that I found in the party section at Dollar Tree. I was surprised at how good quality these are. The insides were kind of going in, so I just used a little bit of tape to make it a little bit more sturdy. But these were fantastic. I added in some tissue paper and some crinkly paper, and boom, how adorable. Just for a little pizzazz, you can add in some of these fudge hearts. This is a super inexpensive last minute Valentine's Day treat idea that you can either do for the kids or with the kids. Quincy really enjoyed doing this with me. And look how cute those sprinkles are. They're all from Dollar Tree. And in case you didn't know, I wanna share a super easy hack on how to get super ooey gooey chocolate chip cookies. You put a piece of bread in there when you close it up before you're about to eat them. Like if you make the cookies the night before, put a slice of bread in there and when you wake up in the morning, your cookies won't be hard and stale. My sister taught me that, so thank you, Teresa. Make sure to subscribe and follow me for more. I hope wherever you are, you are safe, happy, and healthy, and doing amazing. Leave the hidden word bay if you are still here. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Bye, you guys.